Welcome to All Tech Queries. A solution for all your technical queries. You might have heard the term hyper-threading when talking about CPUs or processors. People often use hyper-threading to improve CPU performance. So, what is hyper-threading? Let's discuss it in detail. Before that, you need to understand more about processors to understand the concept of hyper-threading. You can read more on the types of processors, cores, and threads by clicking on the link in the description. In this video, we will learn what is hyper-threading and how does hyper-threading work. With example, what is hyper-threading? Basically, a processor has several cores on it that help you perform the tasks. So, the more cores you have, the more tasks you can perform. However, Intel has introduced a new technology called threading, which is also called hyper-threading technology. Hyper-threading doubles the cores in your CPU virtually. It means that if you have a dual-core processor, it will perform like a quad-core processor by using hyper-threading. This is how we can represent dual-core CPU with no threads, and dual-core CPU with two threads. How does hyper-threading work? So, with the help of hyper-threading technology, we can divide the cores virtually, so that the CPU treats them as extra cores. Intel introduced this technology first, but it is also used by AMD processors these days. For example, the Intel i5-9400F has 6 cores and 6 threads. So, the 6 cores are divided by 6 threads, which makes it act as a 12-core processor. Similarly, the Intel i7-9700K has 8 cores and 8 threads, which makes it perform like a 16-core processor. Here is a 2-core CPU with 2 threads, and 4-core CPU with 4 threads. Note that hyper-threading works well for smaller tasks like playing music, watching movies, copying files, etc. So, if you are playing large games, rendering graphics, or editing videos, hyper-threading won't make much improvement in the performance. Hyper-threading improves the performance of your processors. For example, an i5 processor with 6 cores and 6 threads can perform better than an i5 processor with just 6 cores and no threads. But, it cannot perform better than an i7 processor with 8 cores and no threads. I hope you understand what is hyper-threading. If you have any more queries, feel free to comment below. If the video was helpful, like our video, and subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries, for more tech-related, informative videos, and how-to tutorials. Follow us on other platforms as well. Links in description. Thank you.